Warning, your screen will soon be filled with dramatized stories of scientific research that some people may find controversial or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Dr. Ilya Ivanov. He dreams of recreating life to his own design. Ivanov is a trailblazer in a new area of science, using artificial insemination to fashion bizarre hybrid species. By 1924, he has successfully crossed mice with rats, cows with bison, even donkeys with zebras. Biologists tend to agree that a species is defined as a group of organisms that don't naturally interbreed with each other. Occasionally, you'll get two species that are relatively closely related and are capable of generating a hybrid species. Ivanov now plans to enter uncharted territory crossbreeding animals with humans. It will only work if the two species are very similar. If you mate a female horse and a male donkey, you get a mule. If you do the converse and mate a male donkey with a female horse, you get a hinny. Um, those are very, very rare. It's very difficult to breed them, um, and they're always sterile when you get them. If Ivanov is going to crossbreed a human, he realizes the only possibility is to use our closest relative. Ivanov was absolutely right in saying that the monkeys were our closest relatives. Um, if there was ever a chance that we were going to be able to crossbreed with an another animal, um, monkeys would be our best bet because as we now know, we are over 99% similar to them in genetic terms. What might Ivanov and the Soviets want with a race of eight men? Sportsmen and women with special talents. There has even been speculation that Russian dictator Joseph Stalin may have dreamed of an army of eight warriors. The Russians presume that if you were able to cross these two species, that would mean the intelligence, the planning, whatever it is we like about humans with the strength and the durability of a chimpanzee. 